Hey, 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 and welcome back to the channel. I am so glad that you're here with me today on this episode as we are going to be diving in to my first introduction to our science and nature curriculum choice for 2021, 2022. So if you would like to see more, then let's get started. Hey you, did you hit that play button for the very first time? Well, welcome to the channel. I'm Tasha. This is Tasha Pivots, where we talk about all things mamahood and homeschool and how I'm pivoting through this journey. And uh, if you are literally new to the channel, I uh, announced last week that I was going to be sharing for the month of May, my curriculum reviews for the prior year, as well as sharing and giving you flip throughs, first impressions of our choices for um, the curriculum for homeschool 2021-2022. And so without further ado, our science and nature choice is the Seashore Animals by Thornton, well not by Thornton Burgess, but by Krista Wiley from Simple Studies. I am so excited to show you guys these as I have had them literally stored in my closet, in hiding, in a Christmas bag, because if my girls see it, it's gonna get opened, right? So, uh, to give a little bit of background, I shared earlier this week a full review with our Crystal Wiley Simple Studies uh, choices, our North American Animals and our Heroes and Hope. You can check that out right here in the iCart, as well as, um, and down in the description below, I'm going to pay, uh, place it under more of homeschool. You'll get to see all things uh, that have to do with the simple studies from when we did original flip throughs to when I talked about resources and anything that we were using for those curriculums so that you can go ahead and check those out as your leisure uh, if it's something that you may be thinking about doing in the future or wanting to just see some other options that uh, Crystal uh, offers. And as I keep spinning her name around, Krista Wiley is the founder of Simple Studies. Um, she is a mama of two. She's a homeschooling mama who creates these really beautiful Charlotte Mason inspired and led curriculums uh, that are usually focused around science and nature and literature uh, to even some history. She has a really great Rolodex of options that you can check out over on her website and I will link that down below as well. So, how did we get to choosing seashore uh, animals? Uh, honestly, it wasn't really my decision. It was my eldest. Uh, she took some time and we had a lot of conversations of like, you know, how do we want to move forward for the year? We originally were looking at master book science curriculum. We were looking at the good and the beautiful's curriculum. And the more and more and more we kept talking, she was like, I really want to know more of the Thornton Burgess stories and um, what are the options? So I showed her some of the options. She's like, let's do seashore animals. And so that's how we chose this. Um, and I'm really excited to give her that option, especially at this time where there is still room for her to do that. This curriculum is 4K through 4th. Um, and it is very, uh, I mentioned it in my review overall of the curriculums that Crystal offers that one, it's affordable, two, that it is simple, and three, that it just gives us so much opportunity to learn more about the creatures that God created. And so um, with Seashore Animals, we went on the site, we purchased, we downloaded, and then you get a PDF, and then I had mine bound. I always bind mine because it makes it simple for storage, as you can see now, it's easy to just fit in our little bins, um, including our resources, which I'll show in a second. Uh, but first there is the, this is the, uh, the guide, the lesson guide that you'll see. Um, I'll do a little flip through for you. You've got first the table of contents here. Um, as you can see, it has all the lessons listed. There is a total, I believe, of 40 lessons. Yes, so it is a full year's curriculum. Um, and we always do at least, um, and I might keep this format. I'll share more when I'm telling you guys how I plan homeschool. But we usually do two lessons a week. So we'll see how that maps out for our third grade year. Next, uh, you'll see also attached is in that downloadable is your Seashore uh, Animals Coloring Book. And so um, they have each have a page number and then a really cool coloring page that goes along with whatever that lesson is um, in that story that you're reading aloud. So I'm just kind of like flipping randomly, not in order. 
several pages in so you can see <laughs> there's the jellyfish um man we are so excited to get started on this in july uh so you have those two i'm going to go back over to our lesson book um just to give you a peek through this is just like the other books that i've used before it doesn't even take up a full page so you don't have to feel overwhelmed with the lessons it tells you exactly what the number is, what materials you would need, what books you're going to need for those um, that you're covering, as well as there's a section for older students that can, uh, if you have students that are probably more on the third and fourth graders that want to just um, encourage them to do a little bit more, this does that as well. And then um, that is mostly, like every page is that. There is a section with materials needed. There's an introduction to let you know that like through your reading aloud, you're going to be covering handwriting. You're gonna be covering uh, narration, art, and science. And all of that is within and encompassed in this curriculum. And I think that is so beautiful. There's also um, sections for like teaching you how long you should do this curriculum or how, how they would map it out for the year. So her system, I think, is how I got it. It's very much that um, week one, one lesson one and two, and it goes all the way down so that you can see how you can map that out for the full school year. I love that. Um, also, materials needed, which I'm actually gonna show you guys. I'm just gonna do a very close up skim really quick on there for that. Okay, so for this, as you can see, you've got the lesson guide. You've got your coloring book, and then you obviously have to have for your resource in order to complete these lessons, the actual book that you're going to be reading. So this is the, uh, Bo the Burgess um, Seashore book for children. It is about the same width and length of the North American animals one that we did. Um, beautiful. It has some pictures in it. Obviously, they always have like little creatures in it. I'm doing a very rough flip through, but it's very much you reading, your children listening. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm really excited to get into the stories again. Um, Danny Meadow Mouse and Reddy Fox and the Skunk are all going to be in this again. So then there's some re iteration of uh, characters for my child since she already has kind of like a background of who they are. So you have that. The next thing I pulled for resources is they do give you, um, she does mention a field guide option or a couple of field guide options. And I found this one, honestly, on Amazon. <coughs> this is the National Audrain Society Field Guide for Seashores Creatures. There is the one that she mentions about Atlanta. Um, I'm still deciding if I'm gonna do that one, but I'm really excited about this. Like it is leather bound y'all. Like this is me being a little book snooty, but anyway, it's leather bound. Once I take this little slip off, which I most the sleeve off, I will because I'm not one to really keep sleeves. Um, but I love that this is something that not only do we use for this curriculum, but I can have it in our library that if my daughter decided to be a marine biologist or study marine biology, or if she just wants to know a certain fact about something, she can always reach out for these field guides. Um, so I think it was a great investment, even though it was a little bit pricey. I'm gonna do a sweet little flip through of that. So, <coughs> excuse me. There's, in the beginning, there's pictures. Lots and lots of pictures of different creatures and things. Um, let me try to get in there more. I'm getting all the cool. Okay, so there's, there give you a little bit more color um and then it goes to the facts on this one so this field guide is definitely more detailed than the one i got for our north american animal but i'm really excited there's 690 photographs in it and 18 illustrations 666 species um and a full detail of maps and things for the atlantic pacific gulf uh and north american west indies so lots of resource in there. So this we're gonna be using a lot to explore and expand our minds when it comes to the creatures that we're learning about. I also picked up, um, now I already have this complete series and I will be doing a video of sharing with you guys all of our resource books and uh, things that we're using for resources in our curriculum studies. I will do a whole designated video for that. But for right now, I'm gonna show you this because it's sitting here already with me. I already have the complete, 
I almost have the complete collection. I think I have three of the books. This is now the fourth one. And that is Ocean Anatomy by Julia. I think it's Julia Rothman. Yes. Uh, she is a beautiful illustrator and we we have the other collection, but we were like, well, now we're doing seashore animals. It's time for us to have this. Um, I'm going to just instead of talking about jellyfish, look at that. Look at that. These are so much fun. I love doing this with my kids. Like this is where I guess the art artsy fartsy person in me <laughs> comes out where I love having all the pictures, all the resources, all the diagrams that I can possibly have to help me in aiding and understanding what we're teaching our children. And I love that my daughter loves that. And like oftentimes, especially with these Julia Rothman books, I will catch her literally grab them in her spare time and just sit and go through them for like hours. So great resource. Um, I don't know if it's actually asked to get this, but it just in my head automatically, I was like, I need that book. Um, so I'm going to be using this um, as a reference as well for my daughter. All right, guys. So that is our choice for our science and nature this year. We are going to be doing seashores with animals with simple studies. And I am so excited to do this with my daughter. Explore, learn how all these animals grow and how God created them. And so uh, if you have any questions, put that down in the comments below. Uh, I will, will be sharing with you again a video on all the resources and some of the different supplemental reading that we'll be doing with this curriculum in future give this video a warm thumbs up if you enjoyed it hit that red subscribe button and until next time you guys have a wonderful wonderful time i'll talk to you later bye